Welcome back to the garage, welcome back to the golf simulator. You saw in the intro there me setting it up, kind of how it all works. It does take about 10 to 15 minutes to get it all put together and start hitting balls. Well, in this video, we're talking about what it costs to put all this in. Now, you can certainly go cheaper, uh, depending on what your budget is and how much space and all that stuff you're wanting to utilize. I know Garmin just released a really nice, uh, seems very comparable flight monitor for a good price. Uh, a net, a phone is really all you need to start playing some simulated golf and practicing. Uh, but I did have some other goals in mind with what I wanted to do with my simulator and how I needed to use it. I still wanted the garage to be kind of a, a mixed use space. I didn't want the simulator to be taking up the entire garage. I needed to park a car in here still. And I wanted to be able to use the uh, screen and projector for multiple reasons as well. And then also, you know, from what I want to do for this channel with the simulator and hopefully the progression of my golf game too. So I felt like I wanted to invest in some certain areas so that way I can really get the most out of it. So we're gonna go through that now. Uh, I'm fortunate enough in a position where I got the okay for my better half. Uh, I took a little bartering and bargaining. She got some things too, but she doesn't actually know how much I spent to actually do this. So this will actually be, whenever she watches this, this would be the first time she sees how much money I spent to put the simulator in. All right, let's get into it. So first, covering the frame that we had to build on the ceiling in order to hold the screens up. The wood was $101.26, and then we had to do that truck rental also to get it back. So that was $20.14. Then the trip to Lowe's to get the sound, the insulation and screws that I initially needed to get started. That was $70.03. And then I had two total trips back to Lowe's to get some screws and other things that I needed to finish it up. That was $10.56 and then $8.76 for those two trips. So that's the frame. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the enclosure. Uh, and this is where we start seeing some of the bigger ticket items kind of pop into the budget a little bit. But uh, continuing with the frame up top, I wanted to put some soundproofing up there to kind of make it look clean and deaden the sound in here just a little bit. Um, but the first order I had was $89.99, and then I miscalculated and I had to reorder some more to finish it off, and that was another $26.49. So uh, insert total amount of sound proofing there, and that finished the frame up top, and then we were able to mount the screens here behind me. So I ordered everything from par2pro.com. This is the stealth retractable system. All the screens are on a motor. You saw from the intro again, they go up and down and clean up pretty nice, but what did they cost, <laughs> right? So the two five foot screen here panels behind me, those were $1,142.86. And then the 10 foot screen here behind me with the impact screen as well, that was $1,524.84. And then to add the little coup de gras on the end, we had to get the corner protection things on there. And the two corner protectors together were $190. And again, um, I don't know why they designed those in some way. They're a little bit frustrating to use. The way they, they sewed the Velcro on doesn't quite make much sense to me. I've tried to big brain it a little bit, but it just doesn't like, you have to bend, uh, anyways, I digress. Let's get back to the, let's get back to the damage. So one thing that wasn't included in the two Build My Sim episodes was the actual net here at the top section. And I had to put that in because I actually, using my wedges, I hit the center bar of the screen quite a few times and I sent a ball back, ricocheting back at me, bouncing around the garage. And we certainly didn't want that to happen anymore. So the net itself was $47.65. And then the materials to mount it up there, again, another Lowe's trip was $32.44 for the net. I did film a video of me putting it all together, how I put it up there, installed it, all that good stuff too. I plan on releasing kind of an update to the simulator when I make enough changes and I feel like I wanna update you guys about how it looks or something I'm excited about because I still have a lot of plans for what I wanna do down here. So onto the flooring now, and that also, the majority of it came from partopro.com and starting with the landing area here, the, the area below the screen, I mentioned that I had to bring up the thickness of that turf a little bit because I wanted it to be nice and flush all the way across with my hitting mat. So those flooring tiles were $110.86 and with the turf itself was $360. Now, for the hitting mat, that was a Country Club Elite hitting mat, five by eight. 
Uh, it's been working really good. I'm really happy with it, except the tee. It's good enough space for both left and right handed golfers. It's been working really well with the Mevo Plus as well. So I've been really happy with that. But a little bit of a phantom expense here that most people don't account for, shipping. Uh, all that stuff getting here to the house, to the garage is $595 extra. So now we move on to the media devices and the stuff that actually turn it into the simulator itself. And the biggest one of them all, the biggest ticket item of them all, the Mevo Plus, the flight monitor, uh, $2,118.94. So that one was a big one. And then actually, it is after I got on their email distribution list, about three weeks later, I got an email from them saying they were putting them on sale for $400 less. And uh, I tried to reach out to them. I tried to get a coupon or credit or something from FlightScope and they just weren't having it. So that one stung a little bit, but overall so far with the Mevo Plus, I've been really happy with it in the garage and on the range. I don't have too much to compare it to in terms of flight monitors other than just, you know, GC Quad or GC2, I think at the PGA stores when I'm just testing clubs or hitting balls or just killing time, really. That's what we all kind of do there sometimes. But <laughs> anyways, I feel like it's accurately representing my golf game and I've really been enjoying using it. So I would recommend, but it's pricey. It is a pricey device. Next up, projector, right? So I got a BenQ short throw projector. That one was $793.94. I did splurge a little bit more than I anticipated for the projector because as I mentioned, I wanted this to be kind of a mixed use space. And we've actually used the projector down here for like picnic movie nights in the garage. We actually had uh, uh, my daughter's birthday party in here. We've had football days in the garage. The weather was really nice outside. We just popped the garage open. We just had uh, a good 10 to 15 people here watching football games in their garage, having a good time uh, with the projector and golf simulator. And all the kids are playing on the turf too. So it's been a win-win all the way around and it completely justifies every single decision I've made so far, I'm sure too. <laughs> um, but after that too, uh, with the cords and mounts to get that all running, I have a 1695, a 1377, and a $95 uh, expense listed on the sheet here for all the cords, power cords, all the stuff to get it all hooked up and running. Another thing that was in addition that you haven't seen uh, from the first two videos is I'm actually just running everything off my phone right now. I'm using uh, my iPhone with an HTMI lightning connector to run E6 and run uh, flight scope through that. And I've had a lot better results with the graphics and how it works, oddly enough. My phone, an iPhone 8, uh, <laughs> operates better than an old Surface Pro, Pro 3. So go figure there, right? It's really taken a lot of uh, self-restraint to not go purchase a new iPad or something to like solely devote to the golf simulator. But really ultimately the goal is to start getting into uh, real simulated golf rounds with uh, TGC 2019 and playing those rounds. So I'm pumping the brakes just a little bit, uh, you know, getting the budget back in order a little bit. And then we hope to upgrade to that sometime next year, sometime soon. But the phone HDMI cord was 59.29. So then I have uh, four more line items here on my sheet. No clue what they were for, but they were for the simulator. It's 105.99, 11.65, and 10.59. So final total cost, the way the golf simulator sits right now is $8,367.53. Hang on. I'm gonna need one of these. So that's it. That's what we have here in the garage right now. A few other things to know, some people ask for the dimensions. From my hitting mat to the garage ceiling is about eight feet, six inches. That is a bit on the shorter side of what's recommended. I am six foot tall and I do give my driver a full swing down here and I haven't had a uh, issue hitting the ceiling or breaking my driver just yet. <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen. From the Mevo Plus to the hitting area, that's eight feet of distance. And then for the ball flight itself, is a little over 13 feet. 
uh, depending on where you hit the ball from. I am now just solely using the indoor setting on the Mevo Plus, not the short indoor, and I feel like I'm getting a little bit more accurate results. Next videos are coming up soon. We actually are jumping into working on the driver, breaking some really bad habits I've had over the years. So please tune in for that one. And if you haven't seen me build this out, please go back and watch all those videos too. Uh, they'll be in the end card of this video. And if, uh, if this is the last video that gets put out, it, it might be because my wife watched it and saw what I spent to make this happen. So um, please send help otherwise. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, thank her for allowing me to go on this journey, uh, allowing me to do this and giving me the green light to go ahead and do all this stuff too. So uh, for her, I appreciate her. And then also I appreciate you guys and your time. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Peace. So that's what it took to put the simulator down here in the garage.